Welcome to Use Enums as Text Constants. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, I know we did a video just on, on Enum extensions, but um, this video is going to be about Enums uh, and a alternative thing that you could use Enums for. Um, text constant. A lot of languages has a concept of defining text constants. You can uh, you can have like a little library of text constants and then use them, but we don't really have that concept in, uh, in, in BC. Everything becomes a runtime string uh, in most cases. Uh, we do have labels, but then they're not really accessible from a, a global scope. Uh, label is always a variable somewhere. Um, but back in january my good friend let me just switch over to twitter my good friend aj um you should totally follow him on twitter and uh, if you're ever into uh, working with business central and apis he does some killer classes on uh, on apis so uh go look him up uh, uh, Kaufman, let me actually, uh, Kaufman.nl, he's from Holland, if that is correctly spelled. There it is, that is his, his homepage. Anyway, that was his detour. Um, he tweeted the following, blah, 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 uh, discussion, global, so local. Blah, blah. In AL, we don't have resource files to store text in, like we can do in other languages, but we can use abuse enums for that what do you think good idea or, or is this a no-go then he shows a nice example where he has created a error messages enum and um, created the error messages as the caption of enum so you can do ooh, error format enum error message field incorrect value so that it's uh, it, it, actually a pretty good idea. I, I think it's a pretty good idea. Uh, of course, there is some visibility of uh, of the actual value uh, here, um, like seeing what percentage one and percentage two are. Some, but but in, in, it, it's a nice hack. And and on this channel, we salute a nice hat. Hat. Oh, we get we. I don't know what I'm saying. Sorry. Uh, I tip my hat to salute a good hack. Was that good enough save? Anyway, okay. Um, so I saw this and I, I liked it. And, and then I kind of forgot about it again until a few weeks later when I was working on um, something that probably will never see the light of day. But, but let's see the see it anywhere so i was i was working on a chess engine a chess game in in al because uh why not uh and i was suddenly in the situation where i needed to handle some a lot of bitmaps because there's a lot of pieces in chess there's a um just different backgrounds and stuff like that. Uh, so suddenly I had to juggle a lot of, of bitmaps. Um, and and those bitmaps were basically constants. Um, and I thought of ADA's idea. So this could work here. And if, if, and if you look at it, and this is just test data, uh, not test data, just, you know, I was hacking one, one night. And, but if you look at, at a line like the one that I'm trying to isolate here. Uh, engine dot set bitmap on position. Rec. Forget about that's the that's actually the board. Chess piece colon colon black bishop on white square. Uh, and I think actually it's just a black bishop by now. Uh, but uh, that was what I called. It. That looks that, that looks nice, right? That 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 looks very readable. Uh, so what is black bishop on white square? Let's do an F12 and uh, let's turn on my function key. So I'm not just doing a page down and do F12 again. 
we can see here that's an enum chess pieces and uh, here it is black bishop on white square and um, you can see that the caption here is actually a base 64 image and as you can see now that i'm scrolling 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 okay here we go that that's a pretty long text content actually we can probably see how long it is it's nine thousand that's just uh, I'm not able to point there behind me somewhere that says that nine nine thousand characters. So it's nine K so for this image. No problem, apparently, because it let's let's run this. And you can see that the in the the black bishop is placed in a lot of squares. As you can see that that my issue with trying to use the blob layout that I used in the tic-tac-toe game to create a, 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 a chessboard. Clearly, it's not working. This is this is not playable, all right? So so I kind of abandoned the idea of, of trying to render a chessboard in, in, in AL. But but the, the concept of storing this nine kilobyte text constant inside the enum works very well. Um, so I thought, let's try to see if this idea is, 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 can work somewhere else. So if you remember the tic-tac-toe game, um, let me show it. Yeah, I think I got it here. Uh, oh, okay. I guess new game, tic-tac-toe. I will do there and then the computer is doing something. I'm doing this. If you do something, I need to do this clearly, and this, and we're tied. So, sorry, that's a uh, tic-tac-toe game, and this is this is just in in, in AL. Um, so that's pretty nice. But but let's take a look at the code. So we have a function in here called oops, set bitmap on position gets a board, it gets a image type, that's actually an enum, and um, it gets a position. So I wonder if we could use this hack. So, so right now what we're doing is that this one is creating an array of, of text, and then we're filling in the array with the, with the images. Uh, and this one is only well, this is 5,000 characters and, and this one is almost 6,000. So it's the same thing. So for every time we, we, we add a bitmap to a, uh, to a space, we start by initializing an array and put this in and then from the array we, we select it. So works fine, but, but maybe we could make this nicer. And uh, let's take a look at the the image type, uh, the position type uh, enum. What, what do we have here? Oh, and apparently I'm getting... So I've created a caption that just was blank and X and, and, and O. But I, but I wonder if we could, and it's actually just done in the same file here, what about if we take the these three and we take this guy hang on let's do this right this guy and we put whoa hang on saw that put that here right then we take this guy And we put that in the X. And let's take this guy or girl or person or bitmap as base 64 and put that in there. And then let's get rid of this now. Let's, let's go back and check. Well, how did we actually do it in the chess game? How did we do this? 
So set bitmap on position. So in this case, we just took format on the enum and that will give us the caption. So let's go back and take a look at that function up here. So clearly we don't need this anymore. So let's just get it. We don't need this anymore. Uh, so let's change this line into that. What we want to do here is basically just format image type. That's we want to put that into the base64. Okay, let's see if this works or not. I'll hit a five. And we'll not do the white thingy. I got an X and and the computer got an O and I'll put one up here and then computer will do there and then oh computer went oh no. Um interesting actually since if you notice this that Microsoft has changed something in the rendering of uh, of, of blob fields you saw that it, if you go back and find and you could subscribe to the channel at the same time that would be lovely uh, if you go back and watch the video of the tic-tac-toe game you would see that the bitmaps are the same size but I also noticed in the in the uh, the chess game that only the the first and the last bitmap are larger than the one in the middle. That's very very strange. Something with the grid laid out that's doing that. But oh sorry, that was totally sidetracked. Anyway, this works very well. So we can remove this code. We can remove those there we can move this one so this is this looks way cleaner we pass in an enum and we just format the enum to actually get the, the base 64 strings so i think that's actually a pretty cool way of, of creating some text constants that you you have um you need in a lot of places just put them in one place and 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 use an enum to address them there's one issue and and let me show you this so uh if i would have turned on translations here uh then and and you started to log into translation then these guys would go into the translation also and and you need to make sure that you don't translate this into another language um, but I guess that's pretty manageable that you can see that this is actually not a usual text anyway so I think it was an awesome idea AJ got uh, maybe this was not the his intent that use it to keep stuff like this but if you have text constants you need to use and that, that might be headers or footers or part of if you're building a, a file formats and stuff like that instead of having those pieces in in strings and sitting as variables you can use this approach uh, so your code suddenly looks nicer because you can clearly see that that's a text constant and text constant colon colon if you could just call the enum text constant um, so I think it's an it's an awesome hack, and uh, let me see if I can. I, we salute the hack. Yeah, yeah. But until next time, have a wonderful day.